What's going on guys? I was with 814ADC and it has been a while guys. I apologize. I've been very inactive um, on Instagram and on YouTube for a couple weeks really. Uh, I've just been so busy with work. Um, I'm nearing the end of my last semester of my online master's program. Uh, I just have been really, really stressed and anxious and just, I've been very, very busy. Uh, so I've kind of put YouTube and, you know, the, the knife world kind of on the back burner, um, recently. And I really have struggled to want to make content. Um, you know, I've even struggled being active that much on Instagram. Like, I'll, you know, I'll go, I'll be, I'll work. I work from six to two every day. Uh, you know, I get home from work. I usually check Instagram when I get home. Uh, and then I'll go about doing, you know, if I have to mow grass, if I have other stuff in the evening going on. Um, and then I usually check Instagram, my personal and my knife page, uh, like right before bed. But a lot of times I'm so tired, you know, I, I don't even get to check that and stuff like that just from the day, just so worn out. Um, so I've just been, I've just been super busy lately. Uh, school is almost over. I cannot wait for it to be over. Uh, I just, I'm, I'm kind of over it at this point. There's just so much to do. Uh, and I, I'm a really big procrastinator, which is my own fault. Um, I know I got to own up to it and I got to get better at it, but, um, piece of hair just sticking up there. But it's just oh, still sticking up. Uh, I just have kind of put YouTube on the back burner, um, just because it's not not necessarily biggest the biggest priority when it comes to school and real life stuff as it is you know as much my hobby. But I do have like five videos here to bang out for you guys because I am leaving uh, for vacation and for tomorrow for a week. Can't talk right now, um, so I got to get some of these reviews uh, ready to go. And then I got to get stuff shipped out because I can't, I've had some of this stuff for long enough and my reviews are um, very due for them. So without further ado, I'm going to quit talking, brush some of this crap off my desk. The first knife that I'm doing a review on is the Winter Blade Co. Factor. This is on loan from the uh, Apex Passaround Group. And guys, this knife is awesome. Um, this thing is just really unique, really different but very fidgety, very fun, uh, very usable, very utilitarian, just all around a really cool knife. I kind of fell in love with it, uh, you know, within my couple weeks of having it. And I, I really enjoy it. And it's, it's definitely one of my favorite knives I think I've checked out this year so far. It's really just, like I said, unique, different. Uh, it's, it's using magnets in the pivot system and in the, instead of a detent ball to keep the knife in. So it's, it's just very, kind of kind of cutting edge a new thing to the knife world uh but yeah we'll jump right into materials so you are rocking or we are rocking with a kind of dual uh, materials here you have this anodized blue titanium you have a pivot collar or pivot there that is blue or green excuse me uh, matches the i don't even know what their lock is being called to be honest with you this is g10 this locks in with magnets, you guys can see that. Kind of like the backspacer, but it also operates as an opening mechanism. Here you have carbon fiber with the um, anodized blue titanium pocket clip that works very, very well. It's not a, like a true deep carry clip, but it carries, I mean, practically deep carry. It works very, very well. Uh, like I said, backspacer here. I'm using the front camera, guys. Uh, I just figured it'd be a little easier to toss it on and not get everything set up. It's just easy for me to see. So I apologize. I'm so used to going to this side of the camera, but really the camera's over here. So um, like I said, it's been a few weeks since I've filmed, but uh, yeah, pivot right here. The blade is M390, says it right there, Winter Blade Co. Very nice sort of sheep's foot style blade. You have that beautiful straight edge right there, a nice choil up here, opening hole. Very, very thin behind the edge. It's a full flat grind. Yeah, this is rocking with um, magnets. So you can see these magnets right there that hold the blade closed as instead of a detent ball, I, I believe. I think that's how this knife works. Um, that's just for me hearing about it from other people and from, you know, kind of just operating it. I believe there's no detent ball on this uh, blade. And there's also a um magnet system going on in here i don't really know 
you know, I don't fully comprehend how that works. It's, it's a little too much for my brain, I guess. Um, but as you guys can see, the action is just amazing on this knife. Uh, so I guess we'll jump right into action. One other thing I do talk about is, for materials I forgot to mention, is like internal milling. There's no internal milling going on. And this knife is on bearings. So that makes the action just utterly awesome. This thing is a fidget monster. Uh, and you guys can hear, it tings like crazy. It's definitely one of those knives that is just acoustically singing no matter what way you deploy it. Um, it's probably the loudest and the most tingy knife that I've handled so far. And it, I love it. Uh, I've definitely um, annoyed the girlfriend or the fiance a few times. And the first time I carried this around her, I poured it out and I was fidgeting with it. And I think she was in her bathroom and I was in her room and she like poked her head in the door. I was like, what is that thing? And I was like, oh, it's just my knife. And she's like, that is very loud. Uh, so that was kind of funny, but definitely the most the tingiest and the you know, you know the most this is a knife that carries a lot of presence and people you know can hear you when you're fidgeting with it so that might be a good thing or a bad thing depending on uh, the situation you're in but yeah you have this beautiful hole right here middle finger flicks amazing just flies right out of there the magnets make it have a nice strong detent um, you know it's very not like overly stiff to where you're, you're like you consistently are going to be like fighting to get it out um, but the detent is definitely the detent keep in mind it's magnets but it's definitely not um you know weak by any means thumb flick i just kind of get my um, thumb right up into that corner right there and just fly it out you can slow roll it and it even things for that too well not as much not as much ting as as much just you know the the magnets kind of doing their work but it's still nice and loud as you know in any regard like i said i don't know what they're calling this lock um it's kind of like a button lock meets a i don't even know what i i should have looked this up um to be honest with you because I, I really don't know what they're calling it, but it, it works so well. I mean, all you got to do, that's another thing. Um, we'll, I'll talk about that in a minute, but all you got to do is you just pull it back here and the blade just drops. Pull it, you just pull right back. You can't, um, like if you, you can't open it with it, like you can with button locks, how you can push it down and flick it open. That's one thing you can't do with it that I tried doing with it. Um, doesn't really work that well, but it's just like it, once you get it down, like at first I picked it up and I was, when I first opened it, um, cause I didn't do an unboxing video on this. I don't, I think it, I don't think I did an unboxing video on any of these knives. Um, but yeah, when I unboxed this, I opened it and I was like, kind of like, do I push it? Like push it in? Do I like, how do I work this? And then I did that and it dropped and I was like, oh my God, that's awesome. Uh, so it's very intuitive once you get used to it. Um, what I did want to bring up was I have kind of had some issues with lefty um, just because where I go to middle finger flick lefty, my pointer finger, excuse me, falls right on the lock. So when I go down to get pressure to flick it, half the time I'm on the lock. Um, and I think Kevin, he has a factor. He's talked about that before. Um, same thing happens when it's, well, sometimes when it's, uh, when I'm thumb flicking it lefty. Uh, you just got to get used to it. I know Kevin said he struggled with that a little bit, but you just got to find like the right placement of where to put your fingers when you're flicking it lefty. Um, that wouldn't really, you know, pertain to me too much because pr I'm primarily flicking this righty, uh, but sometimes I like to toss it up and fidget lefty with my knives. So that's just something you have to be aware of. As long as you don't, you know, apply too much pressure on it, but sometimes you do it, it just kind of falls right back. I can't get it out. There we go. So yeah, action is phenomenal. Very smooth. Um, you guys can see, I mean, it just, it just drops. Probably one of the smoothest and the most just like free dropping knives I've handled. Um, and it really helps that those magnets are in there. So it, it'll never bounce out. Cause sometimes when you have button locks, you'll drop it and it'll hit the, it'll swing shut and then bounce back out. This will never happen because the magnets just suck it right in. Um, 
So I think that makes it just insanely fidgety. Uh, action is just 11 out of 10. Probably one of the, if not the most fidgety knife I've handled this knife, knife I've handled this year. Um, it is really just awesome. And like I said, you have this sort of backspacer here that you can, it protects the blade. You can do that. It's stuck. It's a little awkward at first because you kind of have to like grip the knife in a weird way. Um, but it's cool to have. I, I you know, I, I primarily flick it, but sometimes if you want to toss a few of these in there, you definitely can. It's just, like I said, kind of awkward because you kind of have to like pinch grip the knife and then push it down. Uh, but it works once you get used to it. So uh, yeah, action, two thumbs up, 11 out of 10, phenomenal. So uh, next up is Ergos. And looking at this knife from pictures and stuff, I didn't think that it was going to be that ergonomically friendly for me. Um, I just, it looked kind of awkward. It looked kind of just different. But man, does this thing fit in my hand like a glove. With this choil right here, I mean, it's it's locked into my hand. And like this blade shape is just so utilitarian, so usable, um, you know, pop down for, you know, cuts. You want to cut out some labels. You're choked up roll nice and tight for very controlled push cuts. Um, you have to be very careful what you're doing. You're going to be locked in here. Um, choke back, it's even comfortable. I can just get four fingers on here without kind of falling off. But at the same time, I, I don't know. I, I just, I think that I would want this choil. Like I'm not never going to hold the knife like this that much. Like I'm always going to choke up. I'm always going to use the choil. Uh, I'm never going to really choke back because if I had this extra space up here, if I had this extra, you know, controllable area up here, why don't I use it? You know what I mean? Um, that's just me. People might like holding the knife back here, but if I had this extra area, I'm definitely going to slide up be more comfortable. Um, lefty, it's the same way. Just very, very comfortable. I mean, the, the handle, now that I have it in hand, it's it's very blocky kind of, because it's just straight back here. You do have an indent right here, but um, you know you, you can't feel it because like you just kind of go over it. And it's very straight right here. It does taper off towards the end back here on the butt. Uh, the pot clip sits very flush to the um, scales. You know, it's, it's a very wide pot clip too, which adds a lot of ergonomic value to it because a lot of pot clips are skinny and that's when they dig into your hand a little bit more but this sort of conforms to your hand uh, it, it just it feels awesome it really does it feels just super comfortable um the carbon fiber half of half of the uh scale being carbon fiber makes it very lightweight because i said earlier there's no internal milling um but titanium in general is not a very heavy material Carbon fiber makes it super light. So this thing is just a, a really, it's just a, a true joy to hold. Um, that thin blade makes cutting phenomenal. Uh, I opened plenty of packages with this. I think I cut um, cut a, a tiny bit of cardboard, like a small little piece of cardboard, just to see how I was going through it with, with the thin blade. It works super well. Um, so yeah, ergos are awesome as well. Uh, next up is carry. And I just talked about how light it was. Uh, I talked about how the pot clip works well. You guys can probably tell this thing's gonna carry well. Um, it's not an overall big knife. Uh, it's not tall. It is a little fat with that blade sticking out of there, um, but it slides right down in your pocket. I carried this in uh, my front right pocket of my shorts and my back right pocket of my shorts. Didn't have a uh, you know an issue with either one. Like I said, for not being a deep carry clip, it carries very, very well. Uh, you really only have kind of these top screws sticking out of your pocket and I'm okay with that. Uh, the pocket clip works well, you know, it's, not the best retention in the world, but I had no issues with it coming out of my pocket. Um, any of the times I was carrying it, sits down in your pocket, you do have, you know, you, you might catch on this thing a little bit. Like there's a little bit of a lip right here. I apologize guys, I keep I keep going to the side of the camera because I'm so used to it, but um, I'm trying to get more comfortable with, um, you know, doing the front facing camera. But you might catch a little bit on the lip right here just because it sticks out a little bit, but it's, you're, it's not like, uh, like it doesn't have serrations or jimping or anything like that. So you're not gonna catch on it. You're just gonna bounce off of it. Uh, and the rest of the knife is all nicely contoured. There's no sharp edges or anything like that. The pot clip is reversible. Uh, I don't know, I think Kevin reached out because he was curious why they didn't give an extra screw for that hole. Cause I think he had a little ADHD or OCD moment about it and they sent him another screw for it. Uh, that's just something I think they should maybe include when you're spending $375 I think on this knife. Uh, just an extra pot clip screw so you're you're even on both sides but you can switch them which is nice for the lefties out there i think this actually came lefty i don't even think who sent this to me i think zach stuff sent this to me and it came lefty so i don't know if 
Zach a lefty? I'm not really sure to be honest with you. I never, I never, I guess, knew that. But uh, yeah, so awesome carry. Carries well, lightweight, you know, good size. Like I said, it's a little fat this way, but nice and tall. Uh, or not, not that tall, nice and kind of compact. Uh, I'm contradicting myself this morning, guys. I apologize. But yeah, carry is awesome. So next up uh, is my final category of price point and what I recommend this knife. Guys, I would recommend this knife every day that ends in Y and twice on Tuesdays. Um, I just made that saying up. Not the every day that ends in Y, but I added the N on Tuesdays. I don't know. I'm a, I'm a strange human, guys. But this thing is, is phenomenal. Um, it really is a true specimen, uh, just a unique piece. I like to use that word a lot in this video. It is really just unique. Um, you know, with the magnets, with the sort of backspacer deployment hole thing going on back here, um, the way it drops, like it is just a fantastic knife. I believe these are built by Best Tech and I think they go for $275, right in that price range. Uh, I didn't really know about them uh, until a couple months ago because I think there was a pre-order that people were expecting and they came in and everybody loved them. And then there was enough left over to where he did a drop on a certain day. Uh, I didn't go in for it because I really wasn't that, you know, still really wasn't interested in them. I didn't really pay that much attention to them. And they sold out like crazy. Uh, and then I, you know, started, I saw Kevin got one and I kind of was like, oh, that's, that's a really dope knife. It looks really cool. Uh, in the one group chat that we're in, uh, people were starting to chat about them a little bit more. And then I saw David Blade Banner, who runs the Apex Group. Uh, put a message in and was like, hey, I'm getting in a Winter Blade Co. Factor. Would anyone like to check it out? And I immediately went over and jumped on the um, like the list for it because uh, I had grown more curious about it. I had grown more interested in it. Uh, and I was really stoked to have checked one out or to be able to check one out through the group. Uh, and I really love this knife, guys. I even went on the website. I wanted to see like when um, the like next pre-order would be turns out after the drop was so popular i think they did another pre-order um, and that sold out and i think the knives are going to be in in like six to seven months so it's going to be a while before i think i'm able to get one unless i can find one on the secondary for a you know a decent price eventually um when i have a little bit more free funds floating around because i'm kind of on a knife hiatus right now trying to save up a little bit more money but eventually i do want to get one of these i really have kind of fallen in love with them uh, i really want one for the collection just because again they're so different they're so unique but they're so usable, they're so comfortable, um, and they're just kind of a, a conversation piece. Uh, you know, I, I showed my dad this, uh, I showed my, my girlfriend this, my fiance this, I keep calling her my, my girlfriend. Um, but it's just a cool knife and I really just, I wanna have one in the collection. Just one of those pieces you kinda just wanna have, um, just just for the sake of it. And, and not just because it's a gimmick, not just because it's a, you know, a fidget toy, it's a real, you know, usable, comfortable, utilitarian knife. Um, I like to use the word utilitarian a lot, but it really is just because of how comfortable it is, how ergo friendly it is. Um, and then at the same time, it does this. I mean, you can just sit here and annoy your wife, your your son, your brother, your nephew, your 